This is Radio Nepal. I'm Dila Prasai with the news. The headlines first. Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deoba pledges to address problems being faced by Nepali art sector. Election Commission briefs representatives of diplomatic missions about preparations for November 20 elections. Consumption of petroleum products in Nepal significantly decreases. And U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping express commitment to resolving conflict. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deoba has placed to address the problems being faced by the Nepali art sector. At an interaction program with new generation artists at Balwatar yesterday, the artists urged the Prime Minister to address the existing problems related to film shooting, music royalty, OTT, tourism promotion through films, among others. On the occasion, Prime Minister Deoba urged the artists to disseminate messages that there should be active but participation of the youth in elections. The Election Commission has briefed chiefs and representatives of diplomatic missions in Kathmandu about the preparations for the November 20th elections. Chief Election Commissioner Dinesh Kumar Thapalia applauded the international community for their support and cooperation for the Election Commission's efforts to make an election a success. Chiefs and representatives from over 20 diplomatic missions in Kathmandu and representatives from the Office of the Prime Minister and Council of Ministers, Ministry of Home Affairs and Ministry of Foreign Affairs were present on the occasion at the Election Commission yesterday. Meanwhile, the Election Commission has reminded the political parties, candidates and all the concerned sites to fully abide by the Election Code of Conduct during election campaigns. Election Commissioner Ram Prasad Bhandari said the Commission had directed the concerned bodies to monitor the election campaigns to ensure the implementation of the Code of conduct. Election-related activities and campaigns have been intensified across the country as the November 20th election to the House of Representatives and Provincial Assembly near. Candidates are reaching out to voters as only six days are left for voting. Likewise, top leaders of the political parties seem to be busy in addressing the election campaigns across the country. CPN YML Chairman KP Sharma Oli says the national forces needed to lead a campaign for national development. Addressing an election assembly in Sindhuli yesterday, Chairman Oli said the UML was able to protect the national sovereignty, independence and geographical integrity of the nation. The Supreme Court has issued an interim order in the name of the Election Commission not to implement the decision to remove the name of LGBTIQ plus persons from the closed list of the proportional representation system of the November 20 elections. A single bench of judge, Dr. Ananda Mohan Patrai, issued the interim order yesterday asking the commission not to implement its decision to remove the sexual minorities from the list. The election commission had removed the names of 37 candidates, including 17 for the House of Representatives and 20 for the Provincial Assembly, whose gender identity were named differently in the closed list and in their respective citizenships certificate. Chairman of the CPN Maoist Center, Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda, has claimed that the left democratic alliance will continue until regression exists. Addressing an election assembly organized in Gorkha yesterday, leader Dahal said the alliance was the major need for the peace, protection of the constitution and economic revolution as Nepali Congress and Maoist were the negotiators of the peace agreement. The domestic consumption of petroleum products has significantly decreased in Nepal compared to the last year. According to the Nepal Oil Corporation, 44,000 kiloliters of petrol and 78,000 kiloliters of diesel were consumed from mid-October to mid-November this year, while 63,000 kiloliters of petrol and nearly 136,000 kiloliters of diesel were consumed during the corresponding last year.
Nepal Oil Corporation spokesperson Binit Manupadhyay said the supplies of petroleum products would increase during festivals and elections in the past but this time the situation remained different. Liquidity crunch, unfavorable season for development works, the skyrocketing prices for petroleum products and its higher prices in domestic market than in the Indian market are among the factors for the downfall. Nepal's private airline company Buddha Air is preparing to operate three flights to India from the Pokhara Regional International Airport. According to Buddha Air, the flights to three Indian cities, Banaras, New Delhi and Dehradun, will run from January 2023. As the company says, the government is making initiatives for an air traffic route from India and regular flights will begin once the route and slot permissions will be obtained from the Indian government. Nepal lost to UAE by 84 runs in the friendly match held at Kathmandu based TU Cricket Ground in Kirtipur yesterday, chasing a target of 264 runs set by the UAE. Nepal lost 9 wickets in 50 overs and ended up with only 179 runs on the board. Dipendra Singh Iris scored 54 while Arjun South collected 51 runs for Nepal. You're listening to Radio Nepal, 8 a.m. English News Bulletin. We continue with the international updates now. U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping met on Monday for a historic three-hour-long meeting in Indonesia's Bali. International media have mentioned that during the talks, both presidents expressed their commitment to resolving the conflict and misunderstanding. The meeting held on the sideline of the G20 summit has raised hopes that the relations between the two countries, marred by tensions over Taiwan and all the issues, would improve. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has visited the recaptured city of Kherson in Ukraine's south. President Zelensky said the liberation of Kherson marks the beginning of the end of the war with Russia. He told soldiers Ukraine was moving forward and ready for peace. After invading, Russia declared it the administrative center of the illegally annexed Kherson region and it was the only regional capital to be occupied. Kherson was captured in March, weeks after invasion began. Now the general weather forecast for the country for today. Forecasting division says the weather is likely to be partly to generally cloudy in the hilly areas of the country and partly cloudy to many fair in the rest of the country. Light rain is likely to occur at one or two places in Sudur Paschim province. Kathmandu's weather report now. Maximum temperature of 21.8 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature of 9 degrees Celsius. With this news, we have come to the end of this bulletin. But before we wrap up the headlines once again. Prime Minister Sher Bahadur places to address problems being faced by Nepali art sector. Election Commission briefs representatives of diplomatic missions about preparations for November 20 elections. Consumption of petroleum products in Nepal significantly decreases. And U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping express commitment to resolving conflict. Well, that's all that we have for this edition. Our next English News Edition is at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.radionepal.gov.np for more news and online programs. Stay tuned, stay safe and have a good day.